right, this is us on Isle Royale. This is day one. We're here at the Wendigo sign, waiting for our permit, and then we're getting on the trail. Anything to say? No. Okay. This is Washington Creek Harbor. Here we go. No. It's one board. All right, we stopped for a quick break and we found our first sign of moose right over here. Hey. Hi. You made it to camp? Barely. Barely? Alive. How'd you do? Mm, kind of fine. Was it hard? Um, I mean, when you're carrying, like, almost half your body weight going up a steep hill, it's kind of hard. That is hard. All right. Well, this is our campsite. We're at Island Mine. First night here. Sharing the site with a couple of people from Wisconsin. And trying to get some water. And then we're going to be cooking our dinner. All right, that might be it for day one. We made it, ready for day two. All right, well, this is the beginning of day two. Uh, it's raining, it's raining a lot. And our tent is dry, but everything outside the tent is pretty wet. So, we'll see how it goes. How'd you sleep? Fine. Fine. Awesome. You ready for the day? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Still in good spirits. Still having fun. Then turn around.
are partway up Mount Desser, heading towards South Desser Lake Campground. Find a good spot for a snack break. How's your snack? Uh, still opening it. Still opening it. All right. Uh, rain has stopped, which is great. It stopped before we started moving, so most everything was not too wet when we put it on. Uh, packs got wet overnight. Tent's heavy because it's wet, but we're doing okay. Got a little bit of a late start. Didn't really leave uh, and start hiking until after 10 o'clock, but Finn was exhausted. I was tired. Both of us kind of liked sleeping in, and it was nice that we missed the rain. This is great. This is a great spot for a rest break. Nice good rock. Nice and windy up here. Yeah, the breeze is definitely appreciated. It feels great. It's uh, warmer than we thought it was going to be given the weather, um, but still enjoying it. The breeze makes it nice. Uh, we're definitely not too cold. We have been a little bit too warm in the mornings once we uh, until we take our long sleeves off, but um, have seen some sign of moose today. We saw a pile of moose poop by the trail. Not super fresh, but we know they're out here. We haven't seen one yet. We're hoping to see one today. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Anything else to add? Um, no. All right. All right. We found a good lunch spot. We've been eating our lunch. We passed the rest of Troop 1 just a little bit ago. They said that the trail ahead is nice and the lake is awesome and we're looking forward to getting up to Lake Desert. How's lunch going, Finn? Um, it's going good. Also, it's also going good because we know like we're almost like two miles till Lake Desert, so. All right. More than halfway there. More than halfway there. Awesome. We have been following it down to the lake. Yeah. Well, that's the lake. I can't see it over there. No, that's Lake Desor. All right, you're going. Right down through the trees. All right, almost there.
we are at a campsite at South Lake Desor or Desor. I don't know. I've heard people say it both ways. We're at site two. It's pretty hot. Uh, campsite's out in the sun. Uh, not a whole lot of shade here. The sun's gone behind the clouds a little bit. Pretty breezy. It was not a long hike, but it was pretty hard. What'd you think, then? Mm. Did you like the hike? Mm -hmm. Was it tough? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're about to go down to the lake and uh, see what it looks like. I'll just give a quick tour of the campsite here. So that's Finn. There's our stuff. Here's our tent. The lake is down this narrow trail here. We came in that trail there. And uh, we're about to go ahead to one of the group sites because we heard from the other scouts that there's a pretty good beach there. So we're heading there now. Then you want to see something cool? Come here. Look at this. What does that look like? I don't know. That's what a dragonfly hatched out of it. It crawled out of the water. Oh. That's really cool. Oh. Hey, Finn. Do you like the lake? Yeah. All right. This is the group site beach at Lake Desser. We're way over there. It's quite a long walk. So lots of moose sign on the way here. Waves are pretty. Dragonflies all over. There's a couple of nice spots to sit here. I think Finn wants to wade. It seems like a good day for it. We just saw a loon out in the water. Swimming away out there. I don't know if you can see it very well. That's cool. That's really neat. We just found this huge bee over here. Yeah, we're not joking. That's my hand. That's the bee. It's really big. Huh. I have no idea what that is. Could be clean. But it's awfully large. She's, she's bobbing the water, the loon. That's really cool. Popped this wing a little bit ago. See if you could do it again. It doesn't seem to be bothered by us being here, does it? No. Uh, does it even know we're here? Yeah, it knows we're here. Um, I am somewhat nervous because that's really big and it's right on my leg. I hope it doesn't eat me. getting ready to leave the beach. Just looking at the loons, they're still here. So, that was real We've been close. here for, I don't know, Hour, two hours? We've been here for quite a while. I think we've been here since a little after four. A little before four, actually. Yeah. So maybe now it's pretty before. neat. They don't seem to be afraid of us. They're not coming too close. I don't think I've seen them this close before. <laughs> last last time been... we saw them at a camp, they were like, probably much farther. Yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Except for the murder hornet. Oh yeah, the giant hornet was weird. I, I, I It's just beautiful out here though. I think that's mm -hmm. between, that one is real close. It sure is. Well, back to camp and make some food soon. Ugh, get trying to get dinner ready. Finn wanted spaghetti. He's getting his stuff down, trying to get the tent set up. Looks like we might have some weather rolling in. Uh, forecast said maybe rain. It's hard to tell. 
it looks like it might hit us and it looks like it might blow over but we wanted to make sure we were buttoned down just in case anything you want to add Finn um the beach was nice so the, um, the beach down here is pretty good to, to sit on a rock and yeah just... it's pretty rocky all right you ready for food yeah all right we're down by the water just after we put up the platypus and just nice water it's pretty smooth Looks like the rain might have passed us. That's good. Yeah, we got hit by the rain a bit, but not too much. See the beach over there where we were earlier? Yeah. Well, see you maybe tonight or tomorrow probably. I was going to show you how difficult it is to come down for water. Here's the water. All right, Finn, go up the hill. Ugh. This is not an exaggeration. I'm holding the camera level. You can see how much higher up the hill he is than me. It's pretty steep. Well, here's the campsite. And that's a long way to go for water. You can see how it drops off there. Pretty sharp. Alright, it's the morning of July 11th. Just got everything packed up. It is 9 o'clock. We're ready to hit the trail towards Siskoit. Uh, weather was awesome overnight. Uh, pretty windy, but dry. So now we don't have a wet tent. We don't have any wet gear. Sunny today. It looks like it's going to be a great day for a hike. You ready to rock? Mm-hmm. You excited about it? No. Anything to add? Uh, no. All right, it's a 10-miler today, so hopefully we're still in good spirits at the end. All right, stop for a break. This looks like a familiar place because it's the same spot that we uh, ate lunch yesterday. Um, weather remains good, still having fun. Mosquitoes are picking up a little bit, but they're still leaving us for the most part alone, which is great. Um, we think we, we are approaching Mount Desser. We've had a couple of tough climbs, a um, little bit harder it seems going this direction. Um, Anything to add, bud? Um, no. No? All right. Well, off we go. This is uh, the creek at Island Mine. This is where we had to collect water our first night here. Crossing's a little difficult to get to. There's a big gap here. Uh, you can make it, Finn? Yeah, looks like that board needs to be replaced. Should have put it backwards. So we are now on our way to Siskiwit. 
coming up on the last little bit here before we have to climb one last good ridge and then it should be downhill all the rest of the way to Lake Superior. Uh, this ridge is between us and Lake Superior. It looks like it's going to be a tough climb. see the angle of the hill here, how steep that actually is. So it's at least a 30 degree hill. Going, but it levels out right up here. Water break. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. All right, we made it up that hill. Yeah. Uh, is really steep. That drop off down there. The trail's a pretty good switch back in it. But still going. We're gonna do lunch pretty soon. Yeah. How are you feeling, bud? Oh, tired. Tired. Ready for lunch? Yeah. Uh, let's get there. Right. Lunch time. Taking a break. Found a nice flat rock to sit on. Put the pack behind us to lean back. Got an okay view. Just forest and trees. Okay, breeze coming through. How you doing, bud? Uh, doing better. Doing since, better? You know, since we stopped. Yeah. We are maybe a third of the way from Island Mine to Siskiwit Bay, but that means that our hike is, uh, we've put in at least five and a half to six miles of the 10 we have to do today, so. We're past the halfway point, and we are ready for a nice little break. Anything else to add? No. All right. All right, we just found what we think is the historic island mine just off the trail. And uh, you can see a big pile of crushed rock up there. So we're gonna go check it out. There is a trail going towards it, and so I'm assuming that this is what this is. It's off the main trail. And it obviously looks like somebody was doing some work here. They tried mining copper on the Isle Royal, but uh, didn't find enough to make it worthwhile. Yeah, just the tailings pile from where they dug. So, this appears to be it. Oh, there's some stuff to the trees over there. No, well, there's a metal boiler, it looks like, up in the trees there, Finn. Where you were 
work here, you'd block the probably from Cisquit or something like that. Yeah. Looks like the remains of an old steam engine. You see the big wheels, gears, and the boiler tank for it. Yeah. This is kind of neat. It looks like that's all there is over here. I don't know if there's remains of the actual opening that they mined in or not. So, possibly over here. It could be the opening, could just be from a tree falling. I don't really know. No, just from a tree it looks like. Huh. Yeah, well, well that's it. That's us. This is a historic island mine. And uh, we're ready to get back on the trail to Siskiwit. Alright, still hiking, came across the historic dry well. It's right next to the trail, easy walk. Certainly dry. You can stay there. Stay there. All right. That's the dry well. We finally made it to the lake. Good spot to stop. The lake is really calm. Take a look. This is Cisco at campsite is straight across there. We have to hike to that little point and then get all the way over there. There's a boat dock there. But right now, I think we're just happy that we're out of the woods. Finn's happy at the rest stop. He's looking at rocks. We might be here for a few minutes checking out the beach. I've been following moose tracks all the way here. There's a big one that walked ahead of us. I'm not sure how far. Um, we haven't seen any sign aside from the tracks and droppings, but uh, they're out here.
moose tracks again. Moose tracks right here too. Yeah. There's certainly one walking through here. I don't know when. Yeah. Big pine tree. There's a moose right there in the bushes. This is the first one we've seen this whole time here. It's in the right spot too. What do you think? You excited? Kind of. Um because it's a... That's cool. Horns. It's big. It's a male. Looks like the horns are still growing in. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than a mama. Yeah, it's still in velvet with the antlers. And some wolf prints uh, way back of the chasing moose. Yeah, right on the beach, big wolf prints. Lots of moose tracks. It's really neat. Probably was over here and then probably headed back there. All right, we're coming into Island Mine. I'm sorry, Cisco at Bay. I'm tired, it's been a long day. Cisco at is right there, you can see the dock. So we're almost there. We've had a pretty eventful day. Saw our first moose, saw our first wolf tracks. 
I think it would have been cool to actually see a wolf, but I'm okay just seeing tracks. I'm a little bit more nervous about a wolf than a moose. Um, a moose can fend off like multiple wolves. Yeah. Well, it was a big male. It left us alone. Just wanted to go back to eating. So, and almost there. Like, like, as soon as we, it saw us like standing still, it's like it, it got back to eating, but when it started moving again, it got frightened away. Yeah. It, they're, 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 Really, a lot of stuff out here is, is kind of more scary than of you, because, I mean, people made, like, weapons, and yeah. they really don't. Alright. They just have what they have. Oh, we're rolling into camp. Alright. Video logging this. Alright, down to 20% battery on this, but uh, we caught up with the rest of the troop. Our itinerary has changed, so we actually overlap with them tonight. So that's pretty awesome. So we're here for two nights. They leave in the morning and they're heading to Feltman and we're following them the day after. I mean, I'm not seeing anything else. His rook is threatening your bishop. Anything to add, Finn? Hmm? Anything to add? I would recommend... Wait, um, can, can I... Um, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, spent the night in a shelter at Siskowit. It's actually pretty cool. Finn, would you like to give a tour of the shelter? It's a perfect night for it because it rained overnight. It's still dripping a little bit here, but we didn't have to set up a tent. We're still warm. We're still dry. Um, shared the shelter with a couple of guys from Wisconsin. They were nice to talk with. They're heading on to Washington Creek today. Um, this is our rest day, so we're just gonna hang out here and uh, enjoy the fact that we're not having to pack up a tent right now and hike in the wet. Anything you wanna add? Um, uh, we saw, well, yesterday we saw fox, moose, and wolf footprints. Yeah, wolf tracks. The fox was right outside the shelter here, so we saw it run right past the picnic table right out here. So, it was pretty cool. Um, it's a uh, shelter is actually pretty decent. Nice Adirondack style shelter. Um, just enough space to get inside there. It's supposed to hold six people, and uh, it was a good spot for the night. Ready to walk down to the dock? Yeah. Yeah, Cisco at bay. The lake is so still right now. The only ripples are coming from the dock, really. We're hearing loons call. It's just really pretty out here. I think we're the only ones at the campsite right now. Just us. This is pretty cool. Walking along the beach here, there's lots of moose tracks heading this way. We walked through here yesterday, and these weren't all here, so yeah. definitely... This morning? Yeah, sometime this morning or overnight. These are definitely... This is pretty cool. Um, looks like it might be a mud house. Maybe. There's definitely more than one set. I don't know if it shows up here, but here's... Some of the wolf tracks. There's a pretty good one right there. Not super fresh, but they run through here. Oh, well, taking a lunch break, rain picked up again. We got a nice walk in. 
rain is, I guess, we're going to hit it today. It's not a bad day for it. So we're just chilling in the shelter, staying nice and dry, and uh, enjoying a relaxing day. This is good for, for recovery. What do you think, Finn? Good? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that this is the day that it started to rain. Yeah. We'll see. If we have rain tomorrow, we're hiking in the wet. If not, then uh, at least we had two dry nights in a row, so that's nice. We won't have wet gear when we start. Hey, we're down on the dock at uh, Siskiwit, just watching the sun go down over the hills behind us. It's the end of our last day at this campsite before we take off and uh, head to Feldman. So it's just a beautiful day. The rain stopped, sun came out, and uh, it's getting cooled off. Anything to add, buddy? Um. All right, it's the morning of day five. The weather is, looks awesome. Very cold overnight, cold this morning. We're just about packed up and ready to hit the trail on the way to Feldman. Anything to add, Finn? No.
Oh, yeah. Is that a hummingbird? Yeah. It looks yeah. like one. It's a, it's a type of moth. Hmm. It's really cool. I think it's actually called a hummingbird moth. Because it flies like one. All right, we're partway to Feltman. Really jungly through here. The brush is tall. The plants along the trail are sometimes shoulder height or higher. Um, found a nice uh, birch log to sit on that fell down across the trail. So the first decent spot we've seen in a long time to stop and take a break. So we're gonna take a 15 minute break and then head on up. What do you think, Ben? Anything Dad? Mm wet. It's wet. Yeah. One moose so far, a uh, female crossing the trail a ways back, and uh, we saw a sign of uh, a beaver, but uh, no other critters uh, aside from some snakes and Finn saw a big toad. And a uh, really cool uh, hummingbird moth. There was several of them in a the flowery area. All right, we're at the top of Feldman Ridge. We are seated on one of the old supports from the old fire tower. You can see that the fire tower is not in great shape anymore. Um, good view from up here. You can see through the trees the ridge that we hiked on the first night out and Cisco at Bay way off in the distance there. So we're more than halfway to Feltman. Gonna stop for lunch. Anything to add, bud? Um, it's very breezy out here. Yeah, the breeze is nice. All right, we're on the Feltman Ridge Lookout Tower. We are 11,000, how many feet? Uh, it says like 11. I think it says so on the sign right there. Like 11,070 something. Yeah, this is the highest point on this part of the island. Way over there, off in the distance, that is where we started. Cisco at Bay, we were there this morning. Hiked all the way up Coyote Ridge, and then Feltman Ridge. Here's the island to the south of us. 
We're headed to Feltman Lake, which you can see way over there in the distance. And then tomorrow we head back to Washington Harbor, which you can see kind of the break through the trees there. And that's the Greenstone Ridge that we hiked on the way in. So this is pretty cool. Well, you can see the lighthouse from here. Yeah, the uh, Rock of Ages light way over there. Yeah, this is really neat. Come down a little bit so I can see the ridge better. You can't go quite all the way up to the top of the tower, but you can see some of it. I can actually see Canada across the, the lake on the north side of the island. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Taking a break on top of Feltman Ridge, right near the end, close to the drop-off, you can see from here how much of a drop-off there actually is. Feltman Lake is right through the trees there. The whole rest of the island kind of laid out in front of us. See a long ways from up here. But yeah, you need to stay away from the edge. All right, we are coming up on Feldman Lake and we can see it. It's a little bit below us though. This view is so cool, but I'm not excited about how, how far we have to drop down to get to the lake. There's a moose just past Finn up through the trees here. What are you doing? No, it's fine. It's a male. I need to go to the bathroom. Oh. Put your head down. Yeah, he's taking off. Let's see if I can get a better video of him. seem to care that we're here at all. Just eating. The trail's right here, so we have to go past him just to figure out what the best way to do that is. What do you think, Ben? Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Where's your pack, buddy? I dropped it. Alright. We'll go get it. All right, we made it to Feltman Lake. Picked a small campsite, just a tent. Lake is behind us. It's been a long day. Anything to add? All right. All right, end of a long day. We had six moose sightings today, uh, two separate times, two uh, out in the lake, one right at the start of our hike, one right at the end of our hike. 
Took a nice walk down to Rainbow Cove and looked at rocks. That was fun. Had a great dinner. Beef stroganoff. And uh, for dessert, we got everybody's favorite ice cream bars. And uh, hike back to Windigo, Washington Harbor tomorrow. Anything to add, buddy? No. No? It's been a good day. It's long. We're tired, but we're having fun. All right, it's about nine o'clock. We are getting ready to leave Feldman Lake, hiking back towards Washington Creek. Um, had a 6.30 a.m. wake up call when a moose walked through camp, walked through this little patch of grass right here. Our tent was right there. So that was not the kind of wake up call you get at home. It was pretty cool. Ready to hike? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the greenstone off to the side.
right, we're at Washington Creek. Should be our last campsite for the trip. This is the shelter we're in. This is the view out front. And uh, it's been a good day. What are we looking at? Two moose. Hard to see. Well, Finn just found our camp fox walking out to the dock there. Wonder where he's up to. All right, it's morning of day seven. We have a day hike today up to Huggin and Cove. Weather looks like it's pretty good. It is just about nine o'clock. Had breakfast, watching birds playing out in the water. It's all in all a pretty good day. I think we're ready to rock. You ready to rock, bud? Mm -hmm. All right.
we go. All right, we're at the Wendigo Mine. Let's see what this is. You see the remains of a cabin there, completely broken down. Pretty mucky through here. Yeah, steel beams. I don't know if there's much to see beyond this. But yeah, this was uh, an old mine. All right. Back to the Hey, this is Finn and I. That's the Windigo sign. That means we made it back around the whole Huggin' and Loop, which means that we just made it around 50 miles of backpacking. High five, buddy. All right. Now back to camp, grab something cold to drink, and uh, just rest, because we're done carrying stuff. It's cold. It's cold. It's worth it. Is it nice in the lake? Yeah, absolutely. Your turn? <laughs>